Good Saturday morning, everybody. So, Aziz, I guess, was told on Wednesday uh, that he was going to work today. So, I just got back from taking him to work. And actually, I've been up since, well, I think I woke up around 4, and then I kept, like, tossing and turning. I couldn't sleep. So, it was about 4.45 when I got up. And now it's about 6.30 and pretty sure I'm up for the day. So just want to show you guys, um, no we are not moving, but I talked to Aziz yesterday and he's so like, I don't know, oxymoron. Cause like I asked him, I was like, do you feel, and of course I had to like baby language it for him. But basically I asked him if he felt like he was suffocating at times because our apartment's so small and like, you know, we don't have a lot of things. And in fact, we still need a lot of things like, um, we need really good bedroom furniture. I need a new stand because that one there, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, that one there, um, all the drawers are messed out so I need that. I want like a table thing for there. Well, actually, like, I want an actual desk, and then I can move that there. But our living room is too small. I want a kitchen table and chairs because I don't like sitting on the couch to eat, and I don't like sitting on the floor to eat, so, but we have no room for kitchen and kitchen table and chairs, so we really need a dining room. Like, there's just, like, so much stuff that we still need to, like, make our home complete, but... I just feel like the space is too small. Like, it was okay when we first got married, but now that we're getting our furniture and that we're trying to get more settled in life, I just feel like it's too small. So, I don't know. As you can see, I started taking the dishes down there in the drain board now. Um, and this is what I've got packed up so far. So, it's not a lot, but it's, I think it's really, really going to help because, like, I'm going to be clearing this stuff. And then, you know, these dishes are going to be gone. I've actually, these are the only plates. Well, there's one in the sink. These are our only plates, two each. Just a few cups, a few bowls, not like excessive like I was. I'm like a dish hoarder. I love dishes. But uh, I don't know. Oh, you guys can't see too good in here. But I got all my craft stuff up there, which I'm going to organize. And then I've got to go through all of this too. Let me see if I can take a picture. Okay, so now you guys can see like the bed rails and everything. So I'm just gonna like rearrange all that so that I can start putting, um, you know, the boxes of dishes and stuff. I got the boxes and newspapers here. Um, and, you know, then just a couple um, of the little decorations in our bedroom. I still need to get more boxes. Um, but I just, I told Aziz, I just want to pack up the non-essentials because I feel like I can't breathe here. And because I'm here all the time, it's just making it so much more. So that's my plan. And then hopefully when we move, it'll be like a really breezy, fast, organized type of move. Because I really feel like now that we're on the waiting list for the, the housing assistance, I kind of feel like... We're going to need to be as organized as possible because, you know, if they say, okay, we have an apartment for you, I want to be able to, like, up and move like that. So, I think this is going to help a lot. So, maybe not a lot, but at least a little bit, I hope. Like I said the other time in, the, in another vlog, like, most of our stuff is pretty compact. Like, I'll show you. We've got all our appliances there. Like the juicer, the um, the rice cooker, coffee pot, blender, all that, and as well as all down in there. And then in the bedroom closet is where I have a lot of, uh, you know, just everything's like in a box or in its place. And it's going to, like, I've set everything up in a really organized way so that when it is time to move, it should stay pretty organized, if that makes sense. So... I just want to get this place like bare minimum again kind of like when we first got married only a little more livable than that but it was funny Aziz last night he was like 
what if immigration comes and they see we have nothing in our house? And I'm like, well, it's not their house that they don't, they don't have to live in it. I'm the one here all the time. I want to be comfortable. So, it's not like it's not going to look lived in. Like, I'm still going to have things out. It's just going to be like, you know, because I use the coffee pot and the blender, so they're going to stay out. Or, you know, we use our blankets, so they're going to stay out. You know, things like that. Like, I don't need picture frames out or, um, what, what did I pack up? Like, I don't need 15 plates or 20 cups. You know, little things like that. I don't need my foreign coin collection sitting out. So, stuff like that. This just also collects dust. <laughs> that's a big thing. Collects dust. So, that's going to be my job for right now. But first I'm going to drink my coffee. And I'm going to get back on the computer. And I'm just going to rest. Because I feel like I've been up for a while. And I just... It's not that I'm tired. I don't know. Like, I just got enough sleep last night and I woke up early. So, you know, I'm just going to do a couple of resting things and then get to work. So, we'll see how it goes. I'll show you guys the um, finished project when I get done. Another thing is, I'm like, I don't know what I should do. Like, I was thinking to put all of the stuff I pack in our closet because it's it's like a double closet and then just moving our clothes and stuff to this front closet but then I was thinking well like it sucks because like if I pack everything and I put it all the way in the back you know like they're gonna have to take it and bring it all the way back out here so, but if it's like all right here then it's just like right where the door is I don't know what do you guys think I think I mean if I pack a lot of stuff which I don't think I will because we pretty much use everything that we have so I, I think it's gonna be okay in there but I don't know I might have to switch I don't think Aziz would like that. I think Aziz likes to be able to, like, put his clothes on in the bedroom instead of, like, coming out to this closet and putting his clothes on, if that makes sense. I don't know. <sighs> Problems, right? Like, so small and trivial. Is trivial the right word? Alright, so I still need one box for some things in the bedroom, but... Got a lot done. So I'm boiling a wing and a leg. And I added some um, garlic and some onion flakes. And I think the broth is probably just about done. Probably need some salt and pepper and parsley. And I had three small potatoes and like a few slices of carrots. So I'm gonna throw those in there and whatever else I can find. I don't know. Definitely not tuna or beets. Ugh. Um, I think I've got a little tomato paste, I know. Maybe a little lemon, a couple spices, and that's it. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to show you guys what I cooked because I just tasted it and it's like amazing. Like probably one of the best soups I've ever made. I did make some rice to go with it. Look at this. What I did, I took a chicken wing and a chicken leg and I boiled it. And of course, salt and pepper. I took a little bit of um, onion flakes and then I have this garlic that I just did just a tiny bit. And what did I put in it? Chili powder, paprika, parsley, and cumin. And then I kept having to add salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Then I took the meat out because it was done and the meat was just like, um, I don't, I didn't think it was edible, um, because there, there wasn't too much meat on it. I took all the meat off. Oh, I'm going to put meat in this. Why didn't I think about that? Okay, so I'm going to put a little meat in here. Carrots, potatoes, two bay leaves, squeeze of lemon, and then I just added a teaspoon of tomato paste. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna add the meat now. Aziz is on his way home. He's getting a ride. So.